Today I got an Acer Aspire R5 2-in-1 laptop. I am going to upgrade and clone the current SSD in here to a larger capacity. I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have this Acer Aspire R5 2-in-1 laptop. Uh, the exact model is R5-571T-57Z0. Uh, it has a 250 gig Samsung SATA SSD. It's an older one. It's been in there a couple years uh, You can see it's pretty much full. So all she wants to do is double that up. We're gonna go with an MX 500 I'm gonna clone the one inside under the new 500 gig Try to get her up to one terabyte. She just doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but she wants more space She keeps a crap ton of pictures on here once this process is done. She's gonna upload most of the pictures onto the cloud then Free up some more space on her drive so I'm, I like I said I'm gonna clone it let me close this I'm gonna just go ahead and use the free crucial uh, Acronis true image I've already installed it I'll have a link down below it's their free cloning software just like WD uses the the Acronis true image as well it works really well and going from SSD to SSD it should be a fairly quick clone and all you need is one of these USB one of these USB to SATA adapters like I have here I'm just going to plug it into my MX500 drive stick it in it plug it into a USB 3.0 port over here on the side of the laptop make sure you get it in a 3.0 port if you got one hopefully because it goes quicker than in a 2.0 so I've got it plugged in the the brand new empty 500 gig I'm simply going to launch the program here double click it this is a pretty little easy upgrade Yeah, let me make this full screen here. Like I said, it's a full HD display, but I cranked up the DPI on it just hopefully so you can maybe see this a little bit better. We're going to choose clone disk. Just click it. And go with the automatic recommended. Hit next. There's our, there's our Samsung 850 Evo. That is an older model. And you can see it's pretty much full. It's got about 8 gigabytes of free space. Excuse me. That's our source. Just hit next. And during your cloning, don't be using the computer. You might even go into power management and disable disable your sleep and all that so it stays on during the whole cloning process. Uh, our target drive is going to be right here. It's not initialized. Our 500 gig Crucial CT500. I'm going to click Next. And right here you can see she's going to have lots of free space. I'm going to click on proceed. Once the cloning starts, I'll just step away. I'll let it go. And I'll speed it up for the video. And then I'll come back right at the end and we'll shut down the laptop, install the new 500 gig in place of the 250. But like I said, there is an M.2 slot in here, but it only supports um, M.2 SATA SSD. So you're not really gaining anything by going with an M.2 versus um, the 2.5 half inch unless you want two drives in there then you can do it that way all right so the copying started i'm gonna let it go guys i'll be back when we're almost uh done cloning all right guys i'm back just about wrapping up here with the cloning it looks like it took about 13 14 minutes maybe it's not bad considering she's got 200 and some gigabytes of stuff on here mostly pictures so once this is done we'll shut her down and install the new SSD um, like I said before you start though when you're cloning don't use the computer turn off power management so it doesn't go into sleep mode during the cloning good idea to disable as many back, background programs as you, get, as you can you know unnecessary stuff just a better chance of a good clean clone all right successful clone so we'll click OK we shut down the program once we install the new drive boot it up you can uninstall your cloning software get back a little more space so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it here and I'm just gonna do a quick shutdown But the drive that's in here, she wants that because her husband has an older laptop. They want me to install 
that 850 Evo 250 into his. He just basically searched the internet, but his computer's slow. So there'll be an empty two and a half inch bay in here to put either a regular hard drive or a SATA SSD if you need more storage. Oh, actually, no, I take all that back. We're not doing the M.2. Dale, you're a doof. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Sorry, I was thinking I was doing an NVMe drive. That's mostly what I do around here. But, um, all right, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I already took out all the screws. They're all the same length, exactly the same screws, so it doesn't really matter which one goes where. I just lay them out on a magnetic board like this, keep them kind of organized, so to speak. And I'm just gonna use a plastic spudger tool here and start it in the back here along the seam here get get it in the seam if i can just start popping it up gently don't poke any long tools in here i like using these plastic triangle tools because they got a little lip so you can't shove it in too far usually but they generally lift off once you get it started like that see how i got it going there you can gently just kind of work it usually Usually there it peels, it's peeling up pretty simple. A uh, whole lot of gentle pressure, I call it. Let's put that bad boy over there. But anyway, um, like I was saying, it does have an M.2 slot right here. Um, but you'll need to put in a SATA M.2 drive, not, not an NVMe. It's just an older laptop, 7th gen processor. Um, if you want to disconnect your battery during this process, it's easy to do. It's connected right there. Just pull the plug out I'm not going to so I'm not going to mess around with anything in here just don't touch anything you don't have to and make sure you protect yourself from static discharge like my benches my floors are all anti-static so I don't need to worry about it so right here's the Samsung drive I'm going to pop out it's just a friction fit so to speak in that caddy there no screws real simple I'm just going to put this little tool in here and pop it up a little bit now there's a cable attached right here, so you don't want to just be yanking it out. Just carefully, because we're going to use this caddy again. Carefully unplug it, unpluggerize it. Sorry guys, i got to twist it around here so I can get a hold of it. <clears throat> but it just unplugs. The cable wraps around under the battery and plugs into the motherboard. Uh, I believe it's this one right here. Okay. So, without further ado... Get rid of Mr. Cable. I'll have the link down below where you can download the free Crucial Acronis True Image and a SATA adapter like I used over there. So let me get this. Uh, it's going to go in just like that. I don't like these caddies. They're really kind of crappy. But we're just going to tuck it back in there. Same way it was on the other one. Just little knobs just poke into the screw holes. Kind of holds it in there. Just like that. And we got to reconnect it carefully. But you can see I'm not touching anything over here on the main board. Keep your tools and screws away. Ah, got to get back. Get back in there, you dirty bugger. It popped out. That's why I don't like these. <laughs> Boy, these are flimsy. Very flimsy. <sighs> Come on. Got to get those nubs and those holes all the way because it's a very tight, like I said, friction fit, so to speak. Get one side in, but the other side, I gotta put it around here. Doesn't wanna lay in there. You just gotta kinda gently work it down in the, there's a little, ah. <laughs> All right, try not to cuss and swear, Dale. Bear with me, guys. I think I'll twist it around here. Don't have any wiggle room on that cable there. I hope we're crying out loud. I know it's going to fit. Get that side in first, I guess. Be careful of my other my speaker. You got speakers in, you got to be careful of. 
All right, time to get out the big guns. This is a nylon tool, so it's not metal. Gotta tuck these knobs in there. <clears throat> Hopefully, there we go. Took a lot of fighting, but I got it in there. But it only pretty much goes in one way. So, all right, so we got that in there. Sorry I made that look so hard, but it was. All right, like I said, there's, um, it's got, this model's got eight gigs of RAM. There's four on board plus a four gig stick right here. It's a DDR4. I think it's only 2133, if I'm not mistaken. You got your CMOS battery over here. All right, so let's see if we got a good clone. I'll pop the bottom cover back on. Fan was nice and clean, so that was good. Let's squeeze it back on. When you're squeezing your bottom covers back on, don't squeeze real hard on your on your lid back here because you can actually damage your screen if you're not careful. You don't want to blow out a screen. Snapping it back together. Alright, get in there. Sometimes on these ports, like this one, they don't want to go back on. Come on. This thing's fighting me. Why are you fighting me? There we go. Just got to be careful around the ports when you're squeezing that back on there. Plus your power switch is right here. So just got to get it lined up right. Which I did. Alright. Typically we do most of our clonings in our cloning station behind me over there. But I like to do these videos, videos so you can see how you can do it at home. Just using your trusty little USB to SATA adapter here. So let me hit the power button. Get rid of some of that glare. Boot it up or turn it on and see what happens. So I'm going to put this in her other computer laptop they got because it's still got an old hard drive in it, I guess. But that M, but that um, M.2 slot in there is still sitting there empty as well. Hey. I just wanted to. All right, guys, but I'm back. Sorry about that little interruption there. Anyway, it looks like we got a good clone. Let me pop in that goofy password they got there. <laughs> I always say saying when I'm typing them in. <laughs> but now I got to do some tuning up. I got to update her windows. I think she's got 20 H2. I'll get 21 H1 at least on here. I can uninstall the crucial Acronis true image over there. We don't need that no more. It's free software, you can always get it again if you need it. But now we got plenty of, plenty of free hard drive space there, or solid state drive space. Hard drive, just a force of habit, I guess. All right, guys, I hope you found the video helpful. That's all I got for this one. Um, please click on subscribe and like if, if you would, that'd be great. Thanks for watching, have a great day.